This is a wonderful, joyous, bonkers, happy, silly, but also quite dark telling of a story we think we know, but we don't. My name is Jim Fortune and I've written the music for the musical Hex. We're in the studio that Ray Davis owns from the Kinks, um, which is a very special place to be anyway in North London. As always with any music, for any musical, it's all about story and character. So we just came up with the characters, worked out what they would sound like. It's great, we've got like a live, proper kind of rock and roll take on the songs. And some of the songs are very kind of character driven. Uh, dynamic and fun and like embraces genre. There's a bit of ska in there. There's a bit of country in there, which is quite a lot of fun. Today we heard a song called 16, which um, is Rose's song, Rose's Our Sleeping Beauty. And the song 16 is on the eve of her 16th birthday. This is just before she gets put to sleep. And she's dreaming of a life beyond the confines of her palace. Every day I try to not be demented Every day I try to be serene I try not to be me but always end up in between Every night I dream that I'm that girl Who flies away from all this fear But every time I wake The second song is a song called In The Middle, which is a duet between our Queenie, who's our ogress character, and Fairy. In that song, Fairy teaches Queenie how to love her child. A little chick, a little bean, oh, a little millipede. He is indeed, and he needs you. They're an odd couple and there is a real genuine friendship there and a real genuine bond there. And of course the ogress is scared of having this child and Fairy's going, no, you're going to love it. And in doing so, she not only grows to love the baby, she also grows more to love Fairy and Fairy becomes vital for her. Third song is called Probably. And it's that moment where our main protagonist goes, do I want to go ahead with this thing that I've been offered? Who am I? What do I want? They're not gonna go. It's too far away. Got things to do. Just gonna stay on the the most extraordinary, open and talented singers and actors. When they sing it, I'm just gobsmacked by their ability, but also their soul and their storytelling, and they make the songs better than they should ever be.